Hi, welcome back. Um, we're going to do a fuel level setup um, on a Haltech IC7 dash. Um, I've got just a basic dash setup in here um, so that we, we can use this and I can show people how to do this. You don't need to know what the ohms are on your fuel level sender. Um, and, and honestly, a lot of them are different. A lot of you use these 0 to 90, some use the 90 to 0, some use, you know, whatever it is. <clears throat> Uh, the nice thing about this is you can actually just see what voltage it is. If you're using, you're going to want to use the pull-up resistor that's enabled um, in the fuel set, uh, set settings. Um, and then you can find dead empty, dead full, and then set your range in between. <clears throat> uh, if we go to, I just have fuel level down here. It's a percentage. If we click on that and we go to our channels... We're using uh, AVI, uh, AVI P4 sensor, um, which is used on the IC7 because it has a built-in built uh, pull-up resistor in it. So it's a really good one to use. <clears throat> we're not 100% sure what the, the ranges are. I know we're close right here on the 0.21 volts because I've already started messing with this, but um, they have a bunch of different things you can use on this. Um, the pre-canned fuel levels, there's three of them. Um, if those aren't yours, don't worry about it. We're using the custom one, um, sensor name. We can name it whatever we want. We'll name it, uh, can't type here. Fuel level, sensor type is going to be volume. We're using its percentage with the pull-up resistor enabled. Okay, so we're going to apply all that and close that out. Um, <clears throat> but what I need to see, th this isn't going to tell me what my uh, fuel level really is because we're not sure. The nice thing about this is I can, I'll take this uh, wideband one off of here and we're going to go and change this to um, voltage. So we know AVI4. Um, is what we're using for fuel level, but we can actually see the raw voltage of this as it sits static. So we're going to select that. And that's going to change the fuel level voltage. Um, and we'll increase our decimal places so we can get a lot closer. All right. So we're going to go ahead, turn the key on. And it'll connect to the dash. And then we can go ahead and send it. And it'll take just a quick second. And uh, the dash will reboot. Well, it's hard to see. So at dead empty, we're about 2.21 volts, okay? So we don't, we don't want to do this dead empty. We want to put some gas in it. Um, so we don't want zero to be at zero. Um, we want it to be, I don't know, let's put two gallons of gas in it, and we'll call two gallons of gas zero. So what we'll do is we'll put two gallons in it, and then we'll see what this voltage is, and then we'll set that as our zero spot. Okay, so we've got about two gallons of gas in this thing. We'll see our voltage is right around 5.7 to 5.8. I'm sorry, 0.57 to 0.58. So what we're going to do now is go back to here. Select our channels. And now we can import our calibration. So now we want dead empty to be around point, oops, five eight. We're going to apply that. And send it to the dash. Now it's showing our 
we didn't set the top end, so it shows our fuel level at 73%. But this is going to reset here quickly. Now it's showing 2% fuel level. All right. So we're right on the money. We've got just about two gallons in there. So if Ray's driving his car and he sees fuel level 0%, he knows he's still got two gallons in there. But I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to fill this thing all the way up. And, uh, well, then we'll know for sure what his full is. We'll set that. And it should be good. It should be pretty fairly linear in between. All right, we're back. We filled this thing up. It's halfway up the fill neck. You can see we have a voltage of about 1.8. So we're going to go back in here into our channel settings for the fuel level. Input calibration. And at your 100%, 1.8. apply and close you can close this out now because we're done with that and we're going to send a dash it'll take just a minute you see see it's already at 100 percent because it was well over the voltage So it's showing us now 100% fuel level. So that is how you set it up. Oh, also you can see our ethanol percentage in the middle. We did put that on the dash. So it looks 8% ethanol, which is about right for a regular pump gas. So we know that that's pretty close. And then once you're done, you can save your file as whatever you want. I'm putting it as Ray Dash config. And we're good. Now, we're going to go back here because we don't need this anymore. And we're going to change this back to... Wide band sensor one. And then go ahead and send a dash again. And we will save that. And that should quickly switch back over. That's that.